All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. It's Boomertron time, all right? We're going to play Magic. We're going to play Modern. Like, it's the year 2013. You have your Modern deck. You put it in a box. You don't play Magic for six months. Whatever. Magic tour Modern Tournament. Grab your deck. Change two sideboard cards and let it ride. Uh, Modern has not been like that for the last few years. Uh, just absolute upheaval over and over and over again. But that's the way it used to be. That's the way we're playing Modern today. Boomertron. And we changed a few cards. We added a few gut shots to the board. Try and deal Ragavan. That's it. Just play Magic the old-fashioned way. Uh, the Rag Death, Zovin's crying. You, you, you all know what Tron is. I don't know how to explain it to y'all. So uh, let's go. Let's battle. Boomertron time Modern League. Let's do this. Brought to you by Colos Apparel. Colos Apparel that shop. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. Colos Apparel that shop. Best Magic shirts. Not even close. It really isn't close. Uh, best designs. Super comfortable. Wear one, one right now. Wear them all the time, honestly. They're, they're great. And uh, there's a new designs there. Run the power. Super popular. Use promo code Jim 10 for 10% off your order. And um, just do it. It's just good stuff, honestly. There's nothing else to say. It's my stuff, too. Look. That's right. Get your, get your Apollo Drivers merch as well. Call us apparel.shop. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. Call us apparel.shop. Also, BCW Supplies. Best gear out there. Not even close. Lead two, lead two sleeves, best sleeves out there. Deck boxes, binders, card sorting trays. You name it, they got it. Paper Magic is coming back, sort of, kind of, maybe hopefully soon-ish. And uh, best gear for all your stuff. Uh, you got to re-equip, all right? You got to get your character equipped and go out there in the real world and play some Magic. BCWsupplies.com. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. BCWsupplies.com. Real fast run on what's going on. Um, I got a Historic Horizons uh, set review tomorrow. I am leaving on Friday to go visit Roanoke for a week. Uh, kind of a vacation, hang out with Ross and Todd and Brad and all them. And uh, I'm going to be guesting on Versus Live on Tuesday and Thursday. I'll be guesting on the Bash, the Bash Brothers podcast as well, uh, which will be really fun. And uh, I'll do a little content from there as well. And uh, hopefully play some golf and just have some fun. Should be really, really cool. So look for that as well. And uh, yeah, you're all great. Love you all. Mulligan. What do we do? We play Tron. We mulligan. Over and over. Go to the Kuraga, man. So Mulligan is six. Are we do we do have a, a sphere stirrings hand here, which I do like a lot actually. We are on the play. So land sphere. I mean, I thought these would be pretty bad. Um, what do I shoot in golf? I mean, I'm like pretty rusty. I haven't played much in the last few years. I'm pretty wild. I like can play well, but I also can play totally wild too. Um, if I shoot. You know, I think I'm capable of shooting like in the low 90s if I'm like playing well, but 100 probably, you know, like I'm not, not super great. Um, I'm going to keep this. I'm fine with the, the Mind Sphere Star Starring Sand. So we're going to keep this. Put them all in six also, and they have no companion. And we're going to ship the Yule Mug. Coral, what's up? Coral, you great. Aww. Kind words, kind words. But yeah, I, I, think, I, I think if I like had a lesson or two to get like kind of because I also like I had tons of lessons in crap when I was younger. My swing was nice when I was like 13, 14, 15. But I've had a lesson in like, you know, 20 years at this point. So I picked up so many bad habits over the years. I think if I had like if you gave me if you were like Jim, you gotta play a golf tournament for your life in one month. You must shoot an eighty five or we're, we're gonna kill you. I think I could probably do it. If I had like access to like a good trainer and like Got like five or six lessons, practice every few days. Like, I think I'm capable of playing very well, but I would need to like actually practice and play well and stuff. So when I'm on my game, I play very well. Definitely, uh, I'm the kind of person who hits like a really good shot and also there's like spikes a ball in the woods kind of thing. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's go. Golf's fun though. Like, golf's the best sport. I'm sure I'll play more as I get older too. What's an 85? That's like... That's pretty good. I think I think I'm I'm pretty capable of bogey golf. 85 be pretty good. Like that that'd be probably be like a you know maybe I die maybe I don't die kind of thing. But yeah, plus 13. That's pretty good. Like, but crashing footfalls is here. Uh, we spiked the lamb, which is sick. So now you get to do a green. And uh, you got a force negation for me. No, you don't. Power up. Let's go. Plus 15. Parse. And here the, the, the average par is 71 or 72. There are smaller like executive courses though, but that exists as well. 
All right, so Floodstrand, Forest, it's just the, the Footfalls deck. We just have Tron, we have Stirrings, we have O-Stone, we got we have the world here. And they're going to... Uh... Yeah. I think Bogey Golf is, like, well within my skill set. They're going to ice my land. God, I love a Fire Ice. Fire Ice is dope. All right, we're not going to F6 my turn now. And we're just going to, uh, I think, O-Stone plus Stirrings. Plus Star, I mean. Once the O-Stone's down, like... It severely limits their ability to, to, to threaten us at all, so. Tron, 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 Tron. Let me see that Tron, Tron, Tron. You love their lands? I don't like them, but happy they exist and make people happy, you know? I'm one understands that not everything is for me. Stomping ground untapped, go. So we're probably just leaving up O Stone. We'll see what uh, we draw here as a map. Sure. So let's fire up our chromatic star for green. Just looking for a boomer here. That's a boomer. That is a boomer. Um, we're probably looking at an end step flaw of a bow and outburst, though. So I'm not really in a huge rush to cast this card. Um, I am in a rush to cast this ancient stirrings. So let's fire that off. And we can map and then leave up map plus O stone, which is great also. <sighs> Relic map power plant. Uh, I guess Relic cycles. Relic has little utility otherwise, but don't ruin another land, so sure. Not great. Not great. Um, and then we're going to play a map. Play tower and just ship the old turn ski. As long as you have Ostone and Blam aren't really in a rush here. They could have like Prismari Command, I guess, too, but like we have a second Ostone anyway, so. Um, we have five and three left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Yeah, it'd be hard to play Relic here and pop it and have mana for both these, so let's take a. We don't want to accidentally blow up our, our stuff if we can't have mana activated, so. And they're going to Outburst, which is fine. So we have a second O stone anyway, which is totally fine. So we're gonna crack the uh, crack map here, get Sanctum. Could get a forest also, but I think Sanctum makes more sense. Blow the O. We got another O for next turn. And the old Karn Dog. All right, so Vioski, love it. And uh, now I'm once again not interested in playing Karn because I could have another outburst. We're also gonna, we we got to blow Osto next turn anyway. So let's just um, start by relicking. Tron, 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 Tron. It was like a fine matchup, honestly. Pop that, no mana floating. Draw another relic, which is fine. I mean, play relic. Pop it. No graveyards here. And a map. So we can't play map because you want to pop O-Stone. So we're trying to play this and say, go. If we played map and had to pop the O-Stone, we would lose it. I mean, you don't have mana to do it anyway, so I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. They have another outburst. If they do, it's great for us. They would just definitely not play it if they have it because we're going to O-Stone the footballs they have on suspend. They're thinking about it. Prismari Command. That is a good one. Draw two, discard two, and destroy our artifact. That's pretty good. All right, so, uh, yep. Have a look for a boomer here. Um, Karn, obviously not great against the, the footfalls. They discard gemstone caverns and misty rainforest. All right, sure. They would need a pretty powerful string of counter spells here to really, slow, to really stop us, I think. We also just have, have Sanctum too, so... I don't think these decks play cryptic, but draw forest, sure. So we're gonna Sanctum. 
Karnsky. Yeah, you're nothing but a Karn dog. Snack Sanctum. We can get Worm Coil and cast it right now, or just get Ulamog for next turn. Um, and we can also put the uh, the Gigant in our hands too. Then I'm just gonna get Ulamog for next turn. Mm, I guess the in theory the Worm Coil could defend the Karn. I kind of just don't think Karn matters though. Um, we can just play Karn, Exile a Rhino, and just like keep playing Magic. You know? Yeah, I'm just gonna get the Ulamog. DJ, Risa, thanks so much. Seven months is the Tron anniversary. Sweet. Yeah, that's right, seven. Add it up. It's actually your third month sub, but it's Tron Day, so it's fine, you know? It's a Tron joke. Yak, 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 yak. All right, so we're going to uh, add four. Put this in our hand. Put this in our hand. Play map. So you go. What's up, Borg? So, like, even if they had an end step outburst here for, you know, for 12 total power, still in total bind shape. Doom! Tell us about the time you faced Doom. Doom. What's up, Doom Wake? How's it going, my friend? Thanks for stuff, Rick. I appreciate that. It's Boomertron. Hey, Doom Wake, I'm playing modern right now the exact opposite way that you play modern. You want to know what I'm doing? You want to know what I'm doing? I'm playing modern. Like it was played, they're going to ice me? Jerk. Like it was played about five years ago. The year was 2015. It's a beautiful time in the modern format. And uh, you had a deck, and you just played it. And if you didn't play it for a year, it was a modern event. You pick it up, change three sideboard cards, you just play it again. Not total upheaval, as the format's been in for a while now. And that's what we're doing. Change two cards, our Boomertron deck, and we're just rocking it. And, uh... Blast Zone's pretty worthless, so whatever. Ice it. All right, so Rhino kills Karn. We play Ulamog. I mean, I don't think they have an answer to Ulamog, personally. So, but yeah, if you're sitting in, then my name is Jim. It's first time hit the follow button. Watch on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. They're going to tap... F they're going to cast Fury. Planeswalkers 2. Planeswalkers 2? Wow. Wow. Yes, I'll be guesting on Versus Live next week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Roanoke next week. Partial vacation, and then partial just like to go, just you know, to do some, uh, yeah, partial to do some uh, content stuff. I'll be guessing on Versus Live. I got the uh, I got the, the the good blessings from cool stuff. They're totally cool with it. So I'm gonna guess on Versus Live, and uh, guess the Bash Pro podcast, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, all right, uh, we're a matter short of uh, of playing Gigantha here also, but play the Ulamogski. I'm going to kill the Fury. It's the more threatening card. Wait, it's two things? What am I thinking of? I haven't guessed, I haven't guessed Ulamog in a while. I forgot it exiles two things. I'm thinking of the other Ulamog, I guess. All right, sweet. Ulamog's dope. <laughs> Bingo. That's great. It's been a while, bud. Sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking old Ulamog. Man. GLHF, have fun. Red Green Tron is that is that is true. Red Green Tron is the true Boomer Tron. Nicole's first ever modern event. Uh, I built her Red Green Tron, and uh, I couldn't afford Grove of the Burn Willows, so I got her for Carpul Carpulsion Forest instead. And she played against I think it was Ross, and she was like under Blood Moon, and she like had like a Pyroclasm in her hand or something like that. But like she I don't know what she did exactly, but she like floated a mana floated a red mana then kill the blood moon and then use the red to like do something like cool and it was like some like sick play and i was like hmm well then well then toots what are you doing over there add a counter no nope, wrong button hold on add a counter she, she, she can she can recant the story it was, it was definitely a, a pretty sweet uh little sequence and uh boomer spell that's fine redraw redraw yeah, I don't remember the exact uh, thing. She'll probably she'll, she'll, be, she'll be home soon. She's out at uh, she took took John out, went to bingo, bingo. She went to Please. bingo. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, we'll start by casting Karn, I guess. I mean, we got a million mana here, so should I use a green? Let's play this tower. And use the green. Uh, 
Whatever. Here's Karn. You can't win. You're dead. All right. Yeah, so while I'm gone, uh, Nicole's gonna do my Monday. Oh, look at that. Game. Look at that. Blouses. All right, so... You work at a bingo hall? Sweet. All right, so we're gonna bring in, um... Veil of Summer, probably? I mean, Cage doesn't do anything. Possible... I mean, Thrive Dusk, like, like fights a, a Rhino pretty well. I would say we don't want these relics, obviously. They're just pretty bad. Um, Worm Coil. Ugin's pretty sweet. All our cards are pretty sweet. Just bringing Veil and Thrag Dusk. Thought Out Seer's like, it's all right, but like, it just gets in combat with Bone Crusher and the 4 4 is not very well. Nature's Claim. Could they have Blood Moon in their deck? I don't really know what their deck looks like. I haven't played a ton of Modern lately. I want to play more, so I've got time. Um, yeah, it's sure, whatever. They, they do a Blood Moon. I just have 4 Thrag Dusk and 4 O Stones. It's totally fine. Not really, not really worried about it, honestly. Three Blood Moons. Bring it on. If we got a game to give to, whatever. Who cares? We'll win. No problem. Just the, the non-stop arrogance of a Tron player. Game two. Here we go. I got a spicy one for... Uh, my cool stuff video this week too. I gotta record that tomorrow. Uh, it's freaking Neoform Affinity. Yeah, uh, it's random mulligan here, and it's not good. Opponent goes six. Uh, Sand's also really bad. I'm gonna go five. First rule of Tron: Mulligan, like a thousand times. Mulligan again. Uh, this one's pretty bad too, but it does have a forest. And a Thrag Tusk, and a Stirrings, and a Star. Uh, we would return the Redundant Land and the Ulamog. Opponent is on six cards. I think this is fine. Gigantic Ward, no Ballista? Yeah, I think so. You mulligan a lot to just, just to have Tron and nothing else, and just having an eight mana 5 5 is actually like really relevant. You put it in your hand a lot. Um, I'm going to keep this one against my slightly better judgment. Um, a little weaker than I would usually like, but. Going to four is totally reasonable here. I haven't played Tron in a while, so maybe I'm a little too frisky. A little too, a little ant, not frisky, antsy on the mulligans, but. If you mulliganed here, I would not fault you at all. Terrible draw. Awful draw. Never, you just never want to draw Sanctum of Ugin. You hardly ever want to draw Forest, honestly, but. How they fetch will, will uh, show us how they play Blood Moon or not. Real fast. All right, they have they have Bloodman, so we're bringing we're bringing uh, claims for oh, very aggressive. All right, so uh, we draw a star off the star. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, so we're gonna star stirrings here. Yeah, they they have Bloodman like one hundred percent, which is fine, I think. Um, yeah, so star let's play forest. Make green. Draw. Tower. Love it. Uh, Alright. So, we just want five lands to cast Thrag Tusk. We already have four. Let's take it to Sphere here. So, I think our, our turn one play was a, was a star, not a Sphere, huh? That would have sucked. So, they have Blood Moon here. And they're going for like the slow plan of uh, footfalls and stuff like that, which is fine. Honestly, the Ragdust answers footfalls, footfalls anyway, so there's your Blood Moon. Sure. I'm not scared. Sylvan Scrying. That's great. So we will uh, play a Sphere. Play a land. Crack the Sphere for green. <laughs> sure. Uh, I guess we're going to cast uh, Scrying anyway. And we'll get... Probably just forest, I guess. Um, we have Ugin. It could just be tower, so like when we find the O Stone, we'll have like extra mana to maybe play other stuff too. But unless they have a way to stop my Thrag Dusk. If they can counter my Thrag Dusk, they'll probably win. But if they can't, I'm actually feeling fine with this game. And next turn's put the Gigant in our hand anyway, so Yeah, so we have Tron and Sanctum. Blast Zone does effectively nothing. Yeah, just take a tower. I don't really need extra green, so 
I mean, if they, if they ice my green, it's a little awkward, I guess, but... Everyone likes these lands. I just don't really like them. I just don't like alternate art stuff. I should probably not have snow-covered forest either, actually. It's like there's like that card that's like good against Strahd's, also against snow-covered lands. Whoopsie! Don't play snow-covered lands, folks. So it's crying. All right, so we just put uh, we just put the old Gigantha in our hand here, and say go, and then next turn it's Thragtos, then Gigantha, and like we gotta beat some rhinos, but whatever. We got a freaking five five, folks. We got a freaking five five. End step cycle triome. You should not be on cycle triomes with a uh, blood moon and black. I'm just saying, just saying. It's only fair. It's only fair. Rhinos. They have one card in hand. Yeah, it's two boomer. It's two boomer. Last time I played this deck, it didn't matter if we put Snowlands or not. They spent it another Rhinos? Alright. Um, now the question is, do we do lead on Thragtusk or lead on the Gigantha? They might actually just use Gigantha. Like, it defends better, realistically. Alright, there you go. One five five Elky Boy. Yeah, the black LD over. No, no one plays that card. There's like 20 good cards against Tron in the Modern Horizon set, but like no one even plays them, so whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. So the person in chat who asked about Gigantha being worth it or not, uh, Exhibit A. There you go. It's on the screen right now. Ooh, that's good too. I always be Blood Moon with Tron. It's the best. Um, this can cast, sort of cast the right dusk. Yeah, just ship it. Let it ride. <laughs> Instant resolve. All right. Uh, say so go. You can crash all the footfalls you want, my friend. I don't care. I don't care. We don't care what people say. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Daddy. Let's go. Let's go. Opponent had Blood Moon. They're just like, oh, I'm on the nut. I have, I have footfalls on one, Breaker on two, Moon on three. Can't possibly lose the Tron. <laughs> So you get nothing. You lose. I'm calling the game right now, day, folks. Sir. I'm calling it. The game's over. The game's over. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hmm? Hmm? Going to sit here, I guess. We the five. I mean, five is the average starting hand for Tron, so. Prismari command to shatter and make a treasure. All right, well, I'll get myself some more me boys. And then I will make some more wormy boys. Let's go. Yo, bro. Think I can't play magic? Just like fair magic? Just cast my spells? Think I'm a Tron player? Think I can't count? I can count. On you. Meeting me in the... I screwed up. <laughs> go on. Rhino, 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 rhino. They have two cards in hand. Uh, we have Ugin in hand. Um, not sure they're beating the Worm Coils anyway. I think I have more games of Modern Tron or Modern Goblins. You mean specifically Modern Goblins or Goblins in general? Attack step. I mean, you ain't attacking, my friend. So, uh... Carney boy. Alright, we jamming. We jamming. So more games of Modern Tron or Modern Goblins. I mean Mod Monday certainly skews the stats. I played obviously played Tron in many, many more tournaments because Goblins was, was not viable in Modern for a long time. Uh That's two, that's far shooter. Oh, you it's all I can show, I got DMCA'd, so. What do you got for me? Is it Prismari Command again? Force of Vigor. Okay. Sure, I guess. That's like, pretty good, but not that good. Uh, now, I probably just Karn and kill the Blood Moon. Just unlock the, uh, unlock all my friends here. Alright, well. Here we are, ready to rock and roll. 
some worm, some wormy worms. The old Eugene hanging out. We got 10, 13 mana here. Petty theft. Targeting one of the worms. Okay. Man, they're really they're really trying to eke it out here. They are, they are, they are giving it their all. They're like uh in the movie when like the 10-year-old's like trying to beat the bully and like the boy's holding the hand out, and he's just like, uh so I also drew exact nope, they, they didn't draw land, drew a land. Yeah, okay, they drew a land. So I'm just gonna fire up the old uh the old Eugene next turn. And Eugene is gonna have something to say about these rhinos. Uh and Pete is not gonna be happy about it. Uh not at all. Not at all. Yeah, so the, the minus fourteen comes up occasionally. Basically it comes up when you're behind and you are not finding another way to win, but they are accruing some sort of like pretty good advantage where they're going to win the game. And it calls to win the game where you just like, if you just start the game with three lands in play, you're almost guaranteed to win. So there we go. Game. Blouses. Round one of the books. All right. Companion. Who's that? Blunderbra. Resub. That's a cool name. Wonder bra, I like it. Folks wanted to bet, wanted to gamble. We get five of us league, yes or no? Push your bets, please. We're one and up. Gonna keep on rocking here. And uh, that's a pretty easy mulligan. And uh, let's see. Uh, mm, this is a Stirring's Sphere hand. I tend to like Space Satan, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Opponent is on seven cards, no companion, and on the play. So we have a, a plant sphere stirrings hand. This is only six though. I'm just gonna mulligan. If this was five, I would keep. I think on six, we're gonna mulligan again. Oh my god. Now, funny story. I did win the players championship. The game that I won the players championship, I mulligan to five and I went Urza's mine on turn one, Urza's mine on turn two, Urza's mine on turn three. So I, I that was, you know, this is a little bit of nostalgia here for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and the hand's actually not like the worst. This is a five card hand. We would probably dump scrying mine, or maybe probably dump like mine. Might actually just be mine, mine, honestly. But um, it's got good vibes. Triple Urza is mine. It's got a special place in my heart, you know? It's like the, like the poker player who loves the hand, like, you know, seven, four of spades because, like, they won some big tournament with it, even though it's awful. All right. Um, and obviously, just the hand is mostly predicated on on star scrying land on the draw. So if we draw one of the other Tron lands in our first two draw steps, we're already made. So um, we're on five cards on the draw. This hand's really bad in the thoughts. I'm just gonna mulligan. I'm just gonna mulligan. Amon, new sub. Watch anywhere for thanks so much. This hand just isn't good enough, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm super happy on four. If this is a four card and snap keep, but the hand's pretty freaking bad. If this is a Karn or a Worm Coil, I'm much more inclined to keep because we can we, if we spike Tron on turn three, we can cast it, but we can't even cast it. We don't even have a play on turn three. We, we spike Tron, so we're going to mulligan. Uh, that's a lot worse. That's a lot worse. Going to three. You can't have fear when you play Tron. You can't have fear. Oh, you got to believe in the deck. You just got to mulligan every time. Every time. Keep this. We're gonna ship Scrying Ugin. And uh yeah, we're, we're on three cards, so whatever, perfect. There you go. Unfortunately, we put a lot of good cards in the bottom, but there you go. Keep. Keep. Ragavan? Whatever. I don't freaking care about you. Thought sees proof. Bean Assassin, new sub, watching anyway from next much. Freaking bean assassin. Killing beans. Let's go. Hand of the week. It's funny, actually. So, a long time ago, uh, pre-London Mulligan rules, I was at a tournament, and uh, Nicole was there, and I was with Team MGG at the time. Me, Andrew, and Dan Jessup, Ben Friedman, we're all hanging out in the room, and me and Nicole were playing Tron in a tournament, and we mulliganed to three under the old Mulligan rules, uh, and our hand was Urza's Tower, Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant. Easily won the game. That was the hand of the week, and it was a good one. What's up, Wind Waker? What did they hit? Worm Coil Engine? We are a little light on, on Boom Booms. We did bottom a lot of Boom Booms, but... 
All right, and uh, snow-covered forest. So we, drew, so we drew a green source, and now we're okay uh, just firing up here. If their deck is like all counter spells, we're probably going to lose, but just like infinite mana Ragavan on the play. All right, so we're going to Stirrings. Yeah, Stirrings. All right, uh, we get some haters. Final count's in. The final count is in. That seems reasonable, though. 5 0 in a league is not easy, you know? Uh, lands and O-Stone, sure. O-Stone it is. All right. Let's see if Gigantha comes into play again here. End step. Lightning Bolt, me. Law Mentals. Law Mentals is sweet. I think it's super cool. You see Mob Monday this week, Wind Waker? We played Risen Reef and Goblins. Look it up. I'm not kidding. They're going to iteration off of the treasure, not their fiery islet. Are they that concerned with taking damage? All right, I guess. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's fine. Live your life. Live your life. Lightning Bolt enter, enters exile. All right. Coming in pretty hot here, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty aggressive draw. What's up, Jerf? It's no land, too. Yeah, Ragged Man's pretty good. It's funny. I don't think Ragged Man is even the best red one drop in the set. But I think it's too good. I think it's like... It's just too stupidly polarizing and annoying. It's so good in the play. It's just so good against certain decks while being terrible. Not, like, not, not very good against other decks. Like, it's not, not a big fan of the card. Not a big fan of the card. I think Dragon Rage Channel is like just, just a better red one drop. Like... Better in an overall sense, but Ragavan is much better on turn one and much more polarizingly better. So where the ceiling on Ragavan is higher than Dragon Rage Channeler, but the floor is much lower. Where Channeler is more consistently a better card. Um, but I think that like when Ragavan is good, it's like it's just stupidly good. It's like so good, it's like unre unreasonable. I think. Um, so mint green. Looking for a Worm Coil Engine or a Thrag Tusk. That is an Urza's Tower. So we're just going to uh, play the old O-Stone. Ragavan's what aggro needed, but it's playing it. So that's the problem, is that Ragavan's a very Goblin lackey s card, but you can play it in your good stuff deck, which sucks. You know, it's not really an aggro card. It's not really a synergy card. It's just, like, too freaking good on rate. Even Dragon Rage Channeler, like, cares about things, you know? You gotta get Delirium, you have to, like, do stuff, play spells proactively. Ragavan just, like, it's just good as long as your opponent doesn't kill it, basically. All right, so they hit, uh, what are they, Exile? Forest, sure. So untap. We draw a Blast Zone. I mean, I guess we're just gonna upkeep, kill the treasures in the Ragavan and not play Gigantha, so... Actually, Blast Zone's pretty good. We can just Blast Zone here. Um, and then pop the Blast Zone to kill the monkey. But ridding them of treasure is also pretty good, too. It's a better insurance policy, I think, for uh, for later, like a future Ragavan. So let's just... Uh, let's just... Five, three... Let's just say go new warp world um yeah i mean my site review i said that warp world was my, my, my best in show for red i think that like ragavan's obviously just like one of the best cards whereas my, my the point of that best in show is to like draw attention to a card that was really good to know was liking so save ostom for murktide i mean i can't save everything for everything you know <laughs> like we are just dying to this uh this thing we are at eight life and uh, they already cast you know two bolts so kill all that they can play Merc Tide here, sure. It'll be a 6-6, uh, a six -six, which is not big enough. And then we have, like, you know, we're drawing to a decent number of cards to kill it. What if Ragavan only have a dash ability? It'd be terrible. The, th the thing that makes Ragavan good is that, like, it's like Gobblelacky. You just play it turn one, and if your opponent doesn't have an answer or a blocker, things snowball hard. Like, hard. The thing is that Gobblelacky is a 1-1. One -one. And it requires you to build your deck completely around it. And Ragavan is a 2-1 with no drawback, which is already like almost fine. And has dash. And has a good ability. And makes mana. And steals card. It just like does everything, you know? Right, so they have the thingy. Uh, 
Need a little help here. I think Murtai is too powerful. No, I think it's fine. I think it's just like people aren't playing spells to kill it right now. I do don't I do not like oh 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 oh. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Easy, folks. Just easy. Just so easy to play this deck. Um, I don't like the ability where it gets bigger when you when you delve future things. I think it's just like an unnecessary text. I think one of my biggest qualms about Magic um, is in the last Magic design of the last few years is that I, I was eyes lit. Is that there's so much extra text on cards that isn't even necessary. Like Murktai Regent would be totally playable, almost the exact same amount of playable if it didn't have the secondary text. If it was just like a good Tomb Stalker, you know. Uh, but then it is add this extra line of text to it. Ragavan would be really, really good if it didn't have dash, but it just has dash too. You know, and they just keep putting extra abilities on cards that aren't really necessary. Um, Ulamog costs 10. It's supposed to have a bunch of abilities. You know, like, would Ragavan be playable if it was a choice between getting the card or the treasure? Uh, yeah, the treasure is definitely like the, the big part, but I think it would be less swingy because the problem is when you get treasure and, like, if you, like, Ragavan on one and they have to, like, thought seize you, and you, they attack you and hit Tarmogoyf and cast it. Like, you're just so far behind, you know? You're going to Merc Tide me again? Oh, crap. Oh, wait, never mind. Hold on. No, it's going to be weird. All right. I was a little afraid there for a second that the uh, the Ulamog would make this bigger, but it won't. So, all right. Well, now we're in the, uh, the Abyss a little bit. We got some redraws, though. We got redraws, folks. We got Karn, Ugin, Thragtusk. Just ship it. Whatever it is, just ship it. Sylvan Scrying. That's not particularly great, but sure. Uh, Alright, so, I mean, if they have a, a bolt, we're dead. What are you going to do? We're going to get a Sanctum of Ugin. We are going to play it. We are going to cast... Oh, whatever, stack. Attack first. We do a Blast Zone, but uh, it's not really that good against Murktai Regent. We have a lot of mana. I got that much mana. We reveal... Uh, revealed a third bolt, which is good for us. So they have one bolt left. And they can't dash us because we have the, the Gigantha also. So... Gigantha coming in clutch again. <laughs> again, people were asking, is it worth to not have Ballista? Yeah. This is the thing. You, just, you, you mulligan a three so often. You mulligan a three and you just have a thing to do. And like, it's honestly not that bad of a thing to do because... You can't push it. You can't bolt it. Um, it's just like a decent size to block things. So. All right. Don't draw a bolt. Simple as that. They have one bolt left. The case bolt. You think iteration is almost as bad as most modern super modern? No. Iteration is is very good. It's not. If iteration is the problem, I'm, I'm totally happy. That's not, a, that's, not a, that's not a problem at all. You know. Iteration is just like. A, it's just too many draw two cards. It's, it's good, but it's not like unbelievable you know next turn masters we're gonna get a a 3-1 goblin lackey with dash haste first strike and trample tank 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 bolt you, you better watch self ascendancy because if, if they do that i'm gonna be mad at you all right i'm gonna be mad at you excuse me We're not playing card on the great, the, great, the great Creators. I don't like that card. Doesn't defend itself very well. I just don't like it. It's Boomertron. Boomertron! We don't play no 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 Zoomer new cards. I guess we're playing Gigantha, but whatever. Alright. They tapped the red, and I was like, yo. What are we doing here? What, what is this? This is just a uh, hope we don't block. Saying a little prayer. Oh, living on a prayer. Can see the game. Get the hell out of here. Whoa. Get off my plane. Oh, we got, I was going to. I was going to. I was going to play Ugin. I was going to play Ugin. So easy. So easy. It's just such an easy game. They have Blood Moon. Listen, you don't you don't badmouth Harrison Ford, all right? Yeah, he wasn't a rhythm, but he's fine. Vapor snag, that'd be cool. Alright, so we're gonna bring our gut shots, our tech for the matchup. Uh contortion too, I guess. Thrite does definitely. 
They have like two Blood Moons. I want Veil Summer too. Uh, Relic. Relic is like passable against Channeler and okay against Murktide, but like it's pretty hard to like keep it down. Like Relic was never great against uh, Angler either because they can just like end step Thought Scour, untap, cast it. So it's not going to bother with Relic. I would say we aren't super interested in probably Ugin, which is a little too clunky. Um, we have Gutshot, Thrag does Veil. I'm not going to bring in uh, Blood Moon. I'm just going to hedge against it, I think. Um, do I want... I don't want any claims... Um. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm happy with this. I mean, like, contortion's fine. Maybe the thing is, like, oh, O stones also are a backdoor out to Blood Moon too. So I don't really want to think about that many Blood Moons. I mean, take that many O stones. I want to keep all the castable stuff through Blood Moon. Cutting Ulamog. I mean, Ulamog is good against counter spells. Um, I'm gonna leave the one Ulamog. Yeah, I think it's fine. Pretty happy here. Honestly, Blast Zone's pretty good too. So. And if they have a Blood Moon, we'll just have to not pay life for our gut shots and just cast them the old-fashioned way, right? Eh? 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 Thoughts here. Why don't Thoughts here? What do you want what do you, what to do for us? Ruby, don't break my heart. Moving to my new place. Oh, you haven't been here in a while, Blunderbra. You haven't been here in a while, my friend. Welcome. Happy to have you back. Uh, we bought this house over a year ago. Uh, so for those that don't know, we bought out South Carolina, we were going to move into it, it didn't work out, yada, 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 long story, flipped it, and then had to sell that house after fixing it up, then we bought the house we're in right now, and uh, life's great, it's been a lot of work, we uh, we moved into the house last May, we've redone every room in the house, new kitchen, um, we're currently having landscaping work done outside, we're having the whole yard done and stuff like that, spent unbelievable amounts of money in the last year, um, been poor for most of it, but it's been great, obviously, and um and uh, yeah, life's good. Life's good. A lot of work. A lot of work for sure. <laughs> Boomaker, that's freaking awesome. So the thing is that Thought Not Seer doesn't fulfill our plan in any way at all. Our, our In Eldrazi Tron, that's just like a colorless Jun deck that will occasionally get Tron. Our only job is to get Tron. And that's just too small for us. It's in the board for like combo matchups, but it's not that great. So I was running Mulligan, obviously. Uh, easy game. Uh, keep. We're gonna ship. Is it star or map? I think we're just gonna map for a farce. So I think I just hand the star here. We're rolled up, and uh, get to buy a place. We dragon channel or sure. Paid off your house. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, we bought, moved to the house over a, year, a little over a year ago, and we spent more money in the last year. But I didn't, I didn't realize it was even possible to spend, spend this amount of money. Like, it's unbelievable. Uh, luckily, with COVID, we haven't gone anywhere or done anything, so pretty easy to save money. We're not like spending it anywhere, which is pretty great. So. All right, so we're going to map for a forest. Um, what did they do with their, their bobble? They targeted uh, targeted me. So they know we have a sphere. Sure. Monkey Dash. See, I don't think this is right. Because unless they really need this treasure, they're not going to hit the card that they can cast anyway. They're not developing their board. They're not leaving mana up for anything. Like, unless their plan is to, like, hit a stirrings. <laughs> they stirrings for a bobble, I will... I will, I will, I will, they can have it. They can have it. And they're gonna, Visions also. So like, I mean, if they have like Counterspell, Counterspell, they can counter our first two things, sure, but. Why are you eating your hat wild? What, what happened, what's going on? They're gonna go top, top? <gasps> Inconceivable! Nobody top tops. All right, so they probably have to have like Mana League, Mana League, Mana League, Mana League, or whatever the, you know, Counterspell, whatever. Uh, we're probably screwed here, but whatever. If they, uh, we could go for Blast Zone. Um, if they, like, hard cast the Ragavan. Oh, if they start using a bobble, you eat your hat. 
You should. You should. All right, it's there in a channeler. Attack for one. Attack for one? <laughs> How embarrassing. And no Ragavan. We're just going to say go. So they have Counterspell 100,000% here. Um, we are going to just chill because we're, we're no freaking rush. Like, now I might get a tower, honestly. So I can set up for a double spell with the O Stone and the Worm Coil. One of the cool things, one of the best about O Stone is we can double spell with it, which is great. Um, is it Forest, Blast Zone, or Tower? I think all three have their arguments here. Blast Zone is a nice insurance policy, but it, it won't come online for two turns, though, which is kind of a, kind of a consideration. Um, and obviously Forest is like kind of nice, too. And again, having a tower so I can double spell through counter spells is important. Dude, they missed the land drop. So their hand is Ragavan, at least one counter spell, and all spells. Um, I also kind of like don't want them to cast spells because I want to keep their channel or a 1 1 too. So. What is it going to be here? What is it going to be? So you get Blast, so we're not going to use it. If I don't pop map this turn, it's interesting blam. Honestly, that was that was one factor I did not consider. Um, that's a very interesting play. We don't pop map this turn. We play tower, play sphere, pop it, say go, and just have map up again. Yeah, I kind of like that. Honestly, that's pretty interesting. Up to it now. Um, it is a it's certainly an opportunity cost to it as well, but. want forest i think because gigant is also a possible double spell card as well so i'm taking a forest i don't love it i'm not sure but we're sitting pretty at 16 here <laughs> you bastard chromatic sphere green karn 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 all right so Absolutely not casting a threat here. Just gonna put Gigant in our hands. I go, and uh, now I have eight mana next turns. So next turn can be O Stone plus Gigantha. No Bolt End Step is also awesome for us. They drew a land. That's bad for us, but now they can dash Ragavan and also have Counter Spell up. But they're gonna cast it. So, and obviously the problem getting Blood Moon is, yeah, I actually think that the best play there is, is Lamb's play, is not popping the relic, not the thing, is now I could have end-stepped and gotten Blast Zone, you know? Uh, so I actually, what, what the hell is going on? Why didn't they attack? Must have misclicked. So I actually like that play a lot. That's a, that's a super heads-up play. Really, really clever play. I like it a lot. All right, so um, we are going to, I think, play O-Stone. They're going to counter. Let's play Gigantha. Playing around our Death Shadow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Counter spell. And again, for the third match in a row, Gigantha coming in clutch. Uh, is the person who asked if Gigantha's worth it still in chat? I'm not trying to dog you. I'm just saying, like, just I'm saying. Three matches in a row now, we've passed, we've cashed Gigantha. And they don't really remove Gigantha super well. They have instant land or instant sorcery. If they have, if they have a, still have unholy heat in their deck, but yeah, I think if Lamp, I was playing in a tournament and I was like not talking it out and like just like thinking about it, I might have came to that conclusion too. But I, I don't think it. I'm convinced I would have. All right, there's Thought Scour. So this is pretty big. This gives them Delirium. Now the Channeler can fly. Um, if they have more counter spells here, we do have multiple threats to jam. But only uh, we only have eight mana. Um, so I think getting forest, I mean, obviously ended up being the worst choice because we obviously drew a forest too, but Bob skis for days. They have a, if they have a, uh, a Merc tide here, we can just Karn it, I suppose, which is pretty good. Want to get the 12 mana to double spell with the worm coils. Only have eight. Gigant is the only broken thing in Tron. I cast Ulamog on turn four. What are you talking about? Those cards are good, but right, blue, blue. We're getting murky. Now if they have force negation. 
No, they're gonna they're gonna petty theft my Gigantha? And just leave shields down? Wow. 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 Alright. So we're gonna play around force negation here and just cast worm coil. If they have ceremonies rejection. And so be it, I guess, right? They're gonna cast my gut shot? <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, you win this round. You win this round. They have, now they have four cards in hand. How many Petty Theft do they play? Like, I don't think I've seen this card in this deck before. Um, ooh. Now, that is better because now we can O-Stone wipe everything. If they have Force Negation, I can still cast Worm Coil Engine, so it's actually a really good draw. resolves and we're just gonna pop it i guess i'll pop it on their attack step yeah sure so they can't dash us we're gonna play a chromatic sphere and i'm yeah yeah let's play sphere and so go all right you're up we got some chonkers in hand. We have seven, eight, and nine. The best draw in our deck is, is, is Urza's Tower. Um, by like a lot. Thought Scour, sure. Because that allows us to double spell next turn. Oh, we have Gigantha, though. We can't just double spell with, with, with any Tron land, so. Thought Scour. Mill Channeler Iteration. So you go. Look at me, Mr. Nighttime Streamer. Here they come. Moral coming in. What prompted it? I just was busy today during the day, and I, I got to make content before I go away on my, on my trip. So, boom! Get off my plane. What do they about a store horizons? Set review tomorrow. Set review tomorrow. Oh wow, no threat either. It's all on brazen borrowers back. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. Um, I think. Think, 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 think. They can still just worm coil. Karn doesn't really do anything here, honestly. They should play borrower and step. Um, we are going to play a start with playing star, though. Try and draw a land. Thrag Daddy. That's not bad either. Um, is Thrag Daddy better than Worm Coil here? Um, <clears throat> plays better against another Petty Theft. I guess they have Veil for that too, right? So they have Counterspell and Petty Theft. They can't even play this. So yeah, whatever. This is fine. Just jam, uh, jam the old Wormy Boy. One Worm Coil Engine, please. No think, only Tron. Tron's like, it's funny because like Tron, Tron has this reputation of being like this brainless deck. Tron's like hard to play. Like, playing Tron optimally against your opponent's interaction is not easy. Like, it's a lot of sequencing and stuff. Like, the easy games are really easy, but the the hard games are hard. All right, you're up. So they didn't add a threat to the board, and we two for one them, and we resolve Worm Coil Engine. So I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Affinity is even harder. I mean... I would say old school Ravager Affinity from like back in the day and like standard and, and block constructed was one of the hardest decks to play optimally. I think you could play that deck at about 80% just like with your eyes closed, but playing that deck at like 95% higher required you to be an absolute stone cold master. Stone cold master. So we're gonna Merc Tide here. It's gonna be pretty big, but we have seven, eight, nine. We're one short of double threat test next turn, which kind of sucks, honestly. But what's up, Corky? It's an 8 8 Merc Tide. Mm. OCP to cover Club of Affinity. It was funny, Hawker, but it was really, really bad for the game. It's a real bad look. That's uh, gatekeeping at its finest. 
It was funny. I, I mean, I, I agree. Osp's a funny guy, but... Sylvan scrying? Alright, let's attack and see what happens. Start there. And then we'll see what we're going to do here. They have two cards left. This lever to gain is going to be pretty important, obviously. Um, just scrying for a tower is really good here, honestly. Um, yeah, pretty bad luck. Pretty bad luck, you know. Imagine being new to Magic and watching that and being like, oh my god, if I play in a Pro Tour one day, which I should want to aspire to do, they're going to make fun of me if I screw up, you know? <laughs> like, All right, so we have 7, 8, 9 mana. Yeah, we're just going to scrying for a tower and just cast one of our boomers. Probably against the Ragdusk, actually. Um, yeah, just want as much mana as possible for next turn, so play this. Actually, that, that actually generated a mana. So now I have two, four, six, seven, eight. Actually, I have ten mana. I can't actually do. I can't do two threat deaths now because I tapped my. I have. I tapped my green though. So we. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna play. Thrag Daddy. They probably have a. Maybe actually it's Worm Coil. Because they probably have a counter spell. And I guess they could kill us next turn if they were to like end step, borrower, untap, and then Merc Tide. They only have one, two spells though. It's only 10, 11, 12, 13. Hey, it's just Thrag Dusk. Whatever. They counter right here. They can't, they can't borrow her, so. Next turn is a Thrag Tusk and another threat. As long as we just gain some life and don't die, we're fine. Resolves the words you love to hear. And they didn't end step the Brazen Borrower? What's going on? What? Archmage's Charm. Draw two cards. Okay. Opponent's tilting off? Yeah, probably. Just losing to some idiot drooling all over himself playing Tron. Ha <laughs> ha I get you. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. They think I'm holding back an O-Stone? I mean, that doesn't make sense, though, because, like, they can't actually beat anything at this point. They have to just kill me before the uh, things go off. So they have Merc Tide number two, but this is not going to be enough. We attack for a bunch. We actually are going to Karn minus on the Merc Tide, I think. So... There, folks, they. Don't know who our opponent is over there. So they, uh, they are super tilted, I agree. Mulligan to three. Get crushed. Easy game. I thought one of those games you wish your opponent could taxi and probe on their deck. They just like keep three, they probe you, and you're just like, <laughs> I got the three lands that do the things. <laughs> one coil again. All right, so uh, we're going to see, we're going to uh, actually play Karn first here and go for lethal. Force negation, sure. Then we're gonna jam. And we're going to play on the Tusk and just hopefully not die. We're about to gain 11 life. Should be enough. If they have another... They, they, they have no cards in it now, so... Yeah, we, we mulligan to three, and our hand was Urza's Mine, Urza's Tower, Urza's Power Plant. We won that game. Off. Off. All right, so go up to 16. Go up to 21. They do have... You know, 17 power in the air right now. Uh, we could die to some things here. Uh, another Merc Tide would exile one spell. That's not enough. I guess Seer Missions into Merc Tide might do it. Um, but they got a spike like Runner Runner here, so. What did they exile Force? Iteration? Okay. I mean,. I feel like the scry doesn't matter. It's just whatever, whatever that card is off the top of their deck. A bolt would not do it, right? 17, 18, 19, 20. A bolt's only 20. A bolt is one short. So it's got to be another Merc Tide exactly, or the game should be over. Because we're also at two. So yay or nay. They scry top, bottom. No way they, they're going to help me out here. No, of course not. Not gonna help me out at all. 
Murktai would do it now because both Murktai's would get plus two, plus two. So it would be 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's a force and a visions in the graveyard. They had to draw Cantrip into Murktide to have enough, car enough enough spells in the graveyard. Petty Theft would keep them. Petty Theft might actually do it. They could bounce the Worm Coil and then they have they have more redraws. Petty Theft, Fetch. That might do it actually. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Big draw. That's a good one. Now I got to answer that one too though. So that that should probably wrap it up. Karn. Wow. They're still dead, though. It's fine. Still dead. Still dead. Game. <laughs> Blouses. Come on. What? Opponents is like trying. I mean, my opponent's sole goal right now is just to like screw up my timing on my uh, my soundboard. That's their that's their current goal. And they're winning that game right now. They're winning. I'm not going to lie. But they're losing the actual game. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. Wee. All right, two and zero. Let's go. Two and zero. Playing against a three and zero. Rocking and rolling here. The uh, the non-believers are scared. They're scared. Understandable. Understandable. We've now beaten two of the the big new decks in the format. Uh, the Cascade Rhinos deck and the the Murktide Ragavan deck. So good sign so far. Uh, bad hand. You're gonna mulligan on the draw. And uh, Mulligan this one too. This is a this is a Star Stirrings one lander, but I think I keep this on five, not on six, not on six. So Mulligan again, and uh, this hands the nut, so we can keep this. We're gonna ship Forest and just Stirrings. We got Tron and an O Stone. Tron and a payoff. Couldn't ask for more. Play Lurish Tron on versus Live. Is that even possible? Oh, no, I don't thought it's me. My hand's not, not super great against thoughts these. Wow. Actual basic swamp. Alright. That's fine. You don't know how I must be a Tron God? What makes you say I'm a Tron God, my friend? I do appreciate it. Aww. But what makes you say I'm a Tron God? Everyone likes these swamps, but I just don't like them. If you have time for Ozone as a KO hammer time, seems good there. I'm sure that like their their best hands just crush you, but take scrying obviously. Now we're just drawing to any Tron land, any any, any scrying, any map, any stirrings. A lot of good draws here. Second tower, not the one, but who's ready for it? Where my or my 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 OGs at from back in the day, huh? Raise the hand if you watch watch you play Tron a lot. We got two towers here, folks. You know what we got? Sauron and Saruman. No! I can't even tell what this is. I, I I actually hate these lands now. It's a plains and a swamp and a tide hollow scholar. <laughs> okay, sure. I I thought we were the boomers here. Our opponent's the real boomer here. Thought sees into tide hollow scholar. Uh -huh. Okay. It's the foiling that makes it hard to see what the colors are. Boomer fight. Alright, so untap. Draw. Okay. Um, we're going to just play lands that go here. I'm not going to make a green yet because we don't have any other greens, so. Can't beat the top of the deck, but we'll see if we can uh, assemble Tron here. Tile of Scholar is not exactly the, uh, the fastest clock here. Stoneboard Mystic, sure. Plenty of time here. I mean, I guess the Caldera Complete helps, like, up their clock a little bit. But, whatever. I have to beat them? I will try to beat them. I'll do my best. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Alright, so now we're going to uh, play this and look ourselves for a payoff. We're drawing to three Thragtusk and four uh, Worm Coils. Boom! That's okay. And then once again, Gigantha goes to our hand. Uh, all right, you're up. I guess basically the, 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 the thing here is don't draw Thoughtseize. It has to be exactly Thoughtseize. They're playing Grief. I guess that does it too, but here we go. 
know what I'm gonna do, folks? I'm not gonna watch this turn. I'm just gonna get up and walk out of the room. I don't wanna see the boss sees me, so I'm just gonna leave, or I'll see you guys later. I'm over here, and uh, everything's good. Nothing bad is happening. Just uh, looking at the Cole's desk. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty dirty, as usual. The Cole's pretty messy. And uh, got my guitars on the wall over here. Nothing bad is happening. No griefs, no thought seeds. I come back, and what do I see? I see Caldera complete, and I see the end of the game. <laughs> Just so easy, folks. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know why you would even like make this hard on yourself. You know, it's just like the easiest game in the whole world. Just so easy. We're gonna minus uh, minus two here. Count screws up. Uh, zero, two, two. Yeah. Yep. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Close game. By posture, it's all right. I can stand for the remainder of the league, though. That's good. I'll stand. I'll stand. Guitar's out of tune. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Oh, I got my head's cut off. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been exercising a lot this week. It's been like John's like sports camp kind of week. You are late. Um, uh, John's been doing baseball camp every day. Uh, so we I took, I took him to the hockey rink twice because he has a hockey camp next week. Went, we, went, we went to the uh, the field for a couple hours with John to like work on baseball stuff. He's, he's a played since t-ball. So. Theodore says, I put my desk in stand when you do, Jim. Better posture together. Aww. We're a team. We're a team. We gotta work together. Ready? Squats. Punch, thought sees tilting off. I'm gonna squat. Squat. What standing desk do I use? It's an uplift desk. Um, I like it a lot, except for this. It is very, very wobbly. Um, I had to buy an extension, like a four leg thing for it. I haven't set it up yet. Uh, it's supposed to make it not wobbly. I'm very unhappy with the wobbliness and very happy with everything else. Um, versus live format, not sure yet. Uh, I'm probably modern, honestly, but all right, and uh, just gonna cast some spells here. They still have two lands in play. They played a grizzly bear, and uh, all right, so play Gigantha. I tap bad. I think I tap bad. Whatever. Uh, play O Stone. Blah blah blah, and uh, just gonna keep playing magic here. They still have a basic swamp and a basic planes in play. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not moving them. Pistol squats. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, like the desk is like, it's it's just like like, like if I jump over here. You had the desk fixed before I sued. The desk wobbles. Wild. Like it cannot be. It's, I'm very unhappy about it. I had the desk fixed before I subbed. I know. I just haven't had time. The problem is, that in order for me to to, to redo my desk. I had to take my entire setup apart. You gonna see it? That's my entire setup, all right? It's four monitors, they're all bolted to the desk. I have to take everything apart. So like, I would need to rebuild my entire setup. I just haven't had time to do that really. So the entire point, they're still playing folks. They're not giving up. Yeah, like it's, it's like, it's just really wobbly and like, I was on the floor. Like, it was an expensive desk. Too. It was not cheap, you know? Like, it's the kind of thing where, like, I'm happy to send money on it if it's a good, good quality because, like, I'm here every day. But, all right, they're still playing. What do they get? Batter's go or something? I don't really care. Whatever. I'm just going make to make, make, make us stay up late here. Kill that. Play a map. Blah, 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 blah. Desk fixing stream one. Yeah, right? Six set up. Thanks. Appreciate that. Attack for five. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I gotta like take all the monitors off, take everything off the desk. I have to like probably take the computer off too, unscrew the top. I don't even know what it looks like in there. I haven't opened the box yet. It's just like it's such a, a, a hassle to do. I'll do that when I get back. And there are paying costs. They're gonna undying evil their stone forge mystics. They they're they're showing us this is a, this is a mistake by my opponent. They're not gonna win this game. 
And what they're doing is they're showing us that that uh, that they are the um, the grief deck. I didn't really know that at first. For free, no. It was six hundred dollars. I had to pay for it. I was not happy. I'm very, very not, very, very on on not pleased with Uplift, and uh, not happy at all. So, you make it hot in my office. Why is that? It's a little warm, honestly, but I can fix that. Uh, so we're gonna get like, I don't freaking know. Get a I mean, blast zone is like, oh the monitors. Yeah, it's a little warm. Well, the thing is like, desk wobble is what they say. Like it just you know, they, that's what they do. And the four leg with the four leg desk will make it wobble less. And I, I'm yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not. I was back and forth with them for a while, and I am not happy with them. And, you know, now they're getting all this bad press and, like, whatever, you know, screw you, I guess. Like, it's like a reverse sponsorship, you know. Um, is it Blast Zone or is it Sanctum here? Or is it Forest, honestly? We, like... Blast Zone... I guess Blast Zone's fine. I just get Blast Zone. And Sanctum. If I draw a big thing, I win anyway. Forest covers my stuff, but I can Gigantha stuff anyway, so I get Blast Zone. Coral's getting sub. Thanks so much. Ulting Ugin this game? Yeah, probably. So we just say go here. Um, I guess they can batter skull, but they can't. Here's stack. For fully? What's fully? Yeah, I never heard of fully. Yeah, I mean, like, like I have it now. It's, it's, it's a sunk cost, you know, like, so... I think, I think it sucks. He's like, I actually really like it. If it didn't wobble, I would be all about them. I'd be like, yeah, they're great. They sponsor me. They're freaking awesome. But the wobble is made. It's like, it, it's like the car is beautiful. The wheels are great. Everything's awesome. But the engine like will only go 20 miles an hour. You know, it's like, well, what's, what's the rest of stuff matter for, you know? All right. So uh, I can attack for one here. Whatever. Two. Oh, it's actually two. I, I should have attacked maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Just lose already. You're just wasting everyone's time, opponent. Like, I guess I could draw like Vindicate or something. Defeat counter. Um, Vindicated. I am selfish. I am wrong. I should have scooped the game, but I made you play it out along. Go! It's your turn. It is now, and I won't have a chance to win, but I don't know how. Why well, I put two counters on it? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I it's whatever. I'll just freaking go here. Game's over. I got a fake counter on my stuff now. Like, yeah, like whatever. Let's go. Put a batter skull. Freaking Gigantha blocks it all day because Gigantha's the nut. We draw a land. Whatever. Plus here. Right, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind playing games that I'm winning really bad, you know? Like, we are crushing them into the ground right now, so it could be worse, right? So I go. Um, might want to put Blast Zone on, like, something. Garbage time. Get those fantasy points. Actually, good good, good segue, Wild Snivy. Good segue. So, for those who don't know, uh, best way to support me, not close, $5 a month. Subscribe on Twitch. Or they're gonna solitude me now. Now, now but now I just O Stone. <laughs> like, right? Like, hold on. So now I just O Stone now to kill the batter skulls. They can't bounce it. Um so yeah, five dollars a month sub on YouTube, a membership or a Twitch sub. And then they're gonna ephemerate it. I just have a freaking O Stone in play. What are you doing? <laughs> like uh you five dollars a month. And what does it get you? It gets you a holiday card every year. I don't even have it right now anymore. Uh access to my Discord. We do fun games in Discord. What, a few of the things we do in the Discord are we do a Survivor League every year for the NFL. Pick a team, they lose, you're out. Free prizes, free to play. And then we do an NHL playoff bracket. We're adding a new one. Uh, our moderator mostly lost. It was all about fantasy football. And now we're running a Pile Drivers Fantasy Football League. It should be a lot of fun. And oh, now they lose. That's it. That was the that was the turning point. Uh, I guess if you if you, if you, if you vindicate there, that's not going to win though. We should try and play. So if you like fantasy football, if you're a Pile Driver. 
Join the league. It's in the Discord. If you're not a pile driver, five dollars a month. Join the league. Free prizes. Should be awesome. And uh, you're all great. I love you all. Thank you. Anyway, um, Thrag Tusk. I mean, Veil of Summer stops like the Discardia effects. It's like not super, not super great. Raftinger's Cage. It's funny. The Solid is actually like, kind of good against us. It's good against, good against Worm Coil Engine, but I think I'm like mildly interested in Contortion. I would say I'm not interested in Relic, even though it has like some mild applications against like Undying, whatever, and stuff. But I don't think it's very good. Contortion kills uh, Sculler and whatever the other thing is. Nature's Claim could be on the menu. Um, for things like Void Mirror, crap like that. Um, I actually want to shave a Worm Coil. Seems bad against them. Um, they just have like Solitude, Possible Path, things like that. So let's bring in two claims. I want to shave uh, maybe an O Stone. Um, kind of like Stony Silence. A lot of sideboarding with Tron, just hedging. You know, I should have cut two, cut two Worm Coils. I'm going to bring all three of these actually. Just cut, just cut an O Stone too. You want to hedge your bets, you know, to have an idea of like have a have, be be able to cover something, so on and so forth. Are we in it today? No, just this is my my one my one modern league, and then we're uh, we're calling it a night because it's almost past my bedtime already. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to see a bad Tron hand, folks? That's a bad Tron hand. Uh, mulligan. Uh, we're gonna mulligan again. Um, the problem here is that there, there are thoughts he's like on the play. Take a star, we lose. So. Am I claiming the Jets for the Survival League? It's a pick every week. It's a pick every week. Uh, but no, usually you bet against the Jets. A valid strategy is you just pick the team playing against the worst team in the league every every week. So another terrible hand here. We're going to four. Um, we should lands though, honestly. Like this hand is not. The problem is they're like a grief thought seize deck. So you don't necessarily want to mulligan to like oblivion against them. Although you don't want to make land drops. The goal is that against the discard heavy deck is just to like Get Tron as soon as possible and play off the top of your deck. Rock reset, thanks so much. Yeah, we're gonna mulligan this too. All right, this plays, I guess. Keep this. Uh, we're gonna ship the Sanctum. We gotta ship. Uh, we gotta keep four cards here. We're gonna keep Forest Mine. It's probably Forest Mine Star Stirrings, I think, because map with only one Tron land is pretty bad. So just get mad and play. Who won a football game? The Jets, the Rangers. It's close. It's close. You're right, players. You're right. So the survival works by picking picking one team every week. Can't pick the same team twice. So obviously, Mulligan to four. I can thought getting tossed. He feels feels bad, but you gotta believe in your deck, folks. You gotta believe in your deck. You gotta believe. There's never hope with the Jets. They give you hope, and then they, then they take it away. The Jets will never go zero and sixteen. They always go like you know, 5 and 12 or whatever, give you a little bit of hope, and then dash it. Dash hopes. Eugene. Other kind of matchup where the uh, Giganta shines, where they just thought sees you a lot. Just, just get Tron and play. Just get Tron, you know? Now, the Lions do go 0-16. <laughs> like, they actually go 0-16. Jets don't do that. Uh-oh. Hey, Tuts. We're shot. Soul John, very cool. Yes. We were just listening to. Some... What was the story? What? Kataki? Uh. And his name is John. You go to bed. John's a little short for the standing desk. Um, tell your story about the, the the Blood Moon play you made with like the floating man with boil and stuff. Oh gosh. Something like that. Oh, that was so long ago. You know what? Tell it. Tell it on your mind Monday. Never mind. Leave. Tell it on my Monday. Wait, what? I was hyping up your Mob Monday for uh, for everyone. What do you mean my Mob Monday? You're doing Mob Monday on Monday. I'm on vacation. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. What? I'm doing. I thought you heard me. <laughs> All right. So we're just not going to favor this, obviously, and just draw a card. And uh, all right, this game's getting a little awkward. Nature's claim. So I show up, and now it's getting a little awkward. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> we had a nice drive home. We were listening to that song by A Touch of Class. La 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 la. It goes around the world as la 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 la. And everybody's singing. That song. I don't know. It's and everybody's singing la 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 la. 
And now the bells are ringing. I don't, la, I, don't, la, la, la. I don't. I don't know what you're talking All about. Right, anyway, John's like really into like he thinks uh, "Blue" by Apple Sixty Five is like the best song ever. DMCA. Which I also. I'll, I'll my jobber band now. I also agreed when I was twelve. Nice combo. So he goes. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes. Yeah, I really. We were just listening to that song. It just like came up as like a suggested song. He's like, that was a really good song. He goes, I really like you know like techno pop song i don't really know if that's pop but i have really good taste in music <laughs> just a totally rational thing to ever come out of anybody's mouth what is going on they're gonna take ugin i have nature's claim hold on we're not gonna claim this there's, there's, there's they have to pay for kataki so all right sure no land drop here don't play a land. Just say go. Please, God, be locked into your own attack. I would laugh so hard. In your favor, turn the AC up. So it is hot. I just got here. Yeah. Why it, would it not have been at the entire? It, it was hot before, but I, I could I can't leave my I can't leave my my moron audience. What? I I can't which leave. One of them is I can't the leave my beautiful audience. I want to know which one of them. They're great. Is. I I love my audience. They're they're my favorite. Um. I, speaking of good taste, I got you. In pop. You got popcorn? Pop. Why do I get popcorn? Because, I don't know. That's my one weakness. Why would you do that to me? All right. I'm going to crap pop for right now. So I'm going to make a land drop. All right. We did it. All right. We're just going to kill this. As much as I want to tax them, it's just like, whatever. We're at 18. It's all right, everyone. I'm here. Do I have to, like, stand when I stream? No. I can't. Hit the button. What are you doing? I was watching. Block. Hit six, please. <laughs> I hit six. It didn't work. Well, Simon, mean, that's 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 correct. It's give or take, you know, whatever. Why are they doing this? That's so mean. Or just sour and extra step. That or, was or so mean. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible, do but like, do it now? Kill what? the, uh, kill the grief. Okay, leave open the green, I guess. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, but... Dead. Hey, folks. I'm going on vacation. So Nicole's gonna stream my Monday next Monday. That's in like four days. Yeah. I'm mogging this Monday. He's gonna stream. I am. You're gonna upload to YouTube. Make I am. The thumbnails. You're gonna do everything. I'm gonna do all those things. Everything. And now, I dip, I don't like our opponent. <laughs> right, that's a problem. What was the problem they had that? This was so many problems. Why do they have this weird looking swamp? I can't stop eating popcorn. I can't stop. <laughs> Why do me? Why are you using me? McColl Monday. Matron Monday. I like Matron Monday. All right. So I actually have Caldera in hand already. Their hand is Caldera and Batterskill. Boo, opponent. Drop. It's got to be a good one. You did call tower. Tower to the end of the game. All right. All right. Please don't kill me. Thank you for having me before I eat it all. Please. Save but me. it's Save not me. like you're Save missing. Save me for myself. I can't. I Save me for myself. I brought you this. Save me for myself. You're not even going to eat it all? They griefed again. They took my Gigantha. Whatever. That was rude. Whatever. They suck. Why would they not put in bat? Why would they do I don't that? Know they're doing, right? I don't know what they're doing, right? I feel like that was bad. I feel like just play batter school and kill me. Like, what am I going to do with the oh, Gigantha? I called Dara completes. Uh, it's instructable. It's, it sucks. All right, it's fine. Whatever. Not a problem. I am probably Snowboard not going again? to SCG Con and Did they actually not get Caldera complete over Batter Skull? I John's birthday is October thirty first. 
So I can leave, but she can't. So... It's Cauldra. Whatever. Right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm glad that, like, okay. chat has given up on, like, correcting you when you mispronounce things. Yeah, whatever, you know? Ah, they used fine. to do it, though. Chat used to be on you. They used to be like, it's Cauldra. And now they just won't. I think he's a little annoying. Whatever. It's fine. All right, I was pretty bad that game, so. And then I showed up. All right, please turn the AC up a little bit. Oh. Thank you. Like, up? Tomb Tome. Yeah, I know. I like that one, too. All right, on the play. This is a matchup where I would like to keep, like, six cards and not log into four. Uh, so. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Clay is fun. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan. Um, like, we play Sphere Go, they thought these are Claim or our O Stone, and we just like, don't have anything. And it's, and it's like awkward. If, if our tower was a forest, I think I would keep. But I think we're missing a little too much here for some mulligan. All right, we're gonna keep this one. Um, it's turn one map. Things we don't know what we're mapping for yet. Just dump a map, go turn one star. And they take Sylvan Scrying. We should go map, map the next turn. So they have a Kataki that's terrible for us too, though. Could also just dump the Rag Dusk. But I don't love that. Um, the thing is also, when you have a hand like this against Thoughtseize deck, you can just dump the the piece that's not redundant and like keep all the stuff. And just, again, it's all about just getting Tron in play. So this hand's fine against Thoughtseize deck in particular. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to bin. It's either map, Thrag Tusk, or star. I don't want to play a forest early on either, so the scry and the stars are kind of cool. And then if I on turn one, it's going to be. I guess it's going to be star scrying, so I think it's just going to be map or Thrag Tusk. Yeah, I'm just going to dump map. Yeah, so we're going to do a star first. Want a little bit more information. Hopefully we draw into one of our Tron lands. That'd be great. What's up? Make sure John's in bed. It's late. I know, it's 76. It's hot. I saw it when I was coming in, but it wasn't like hot. It wasn't hot, so I didn't turn it on. But that was a mistake. Mean Mr. Mustard is following the stream now. He or er, they is cool. Why don't you like my singing? Come on, that's stupid nuts here. This deck's so freaking bad. Stupid nuts. Yeah. This deck's so awful. So we'll take scrying map, probably. Again, a good argument for, for maybe keeping the map over the Thrag Tusk. It might have been a mistake, honestly. I get to take two cards? You got Ephemerate, too. So... I think I should have been the fragment. I think that was a mistake, mistake on my part. Again, the, the heuristic is just keep just get Tron in play. And drop drop payoffs later. Those are actually like really slow and crappy. So Tyler, new sub, what's anyway from thanks so much. So that's that's a mistake on my part. That was a bad play. Make green. Draw. Tron land me. No. 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 So map star. Probably should just like crack the star by the map, honestly, because they have like stony silence, something like that. But whatever. Just 
How's it, Gutshot? Uh-uh. It's the card I added to Cyborg because I wanted to be, beat Ragavan decks. So far, I've beaten uh, Living... I'm sorry, not Living End. Um, we beat... Uh, actually, I'm sorry. It was correct to put the star in play, and that was the reason why. So I knew that. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, we beat the Cascade uh, Rhino deck, and we beat the Blue-Red Merktide Ragavan deck so far. Two of the big new decks in the format, so... What's this? You're creeping. Prismatic ending my map? God, what a sicko. I gotta figure out how to shoot. She's like a stone cold nuts here. So. Alright, so spatial contortion. Right on time. Alright, we're just gonna let that happen. Just kill this and say go. So they can't like draw step femorate us or whatever. Ty from Pennsylvania, what's up, my friend? Here we go, Amor Cool. Love the absurd amount of keywords and text slap on her. Deck is probably Etron or Mill. Sweet. Thanks, Ty. I appreciate it. Join Discord, Ty. All new stuff, join Discord. They have Stoneforge here. Punish us for our... Obviously, obviously they have Stoneforge here, too. Why wouldn't they? You know, why wouldn't they? You get Caldera, which is an actual clock. Just... Oh, my God. Woo! No, wrong button. No. It's great. 20 gift and subs. Thanks, Ty. You the bomb. Hype and chat for Ty, please. O stone. All right. Well, we got to uh, draw some lands here, unfortunately. Stirrings? It's not bad, I guess. Mine and power plant. Till. Uh. Mm. A bit of trouble here, but Coral's getting uh, knocked out of a top spot here for gifting. All new shrubs, your pile drivers now, like it or not, you're all awesome. Thanks so much. Join the Discord. Join our fantasy football league. You're all awesome. Alright, stay tight for five. We're on a four turn clock, but it's plenty of time. Uh, a Holter. New sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. That's the one we didn't do it for. All right. Um, all right, I guess. Don't feel too good. Man, we're going to lose this. I, I really think our opponent's deck's like pretty bad. Like, I think that like the upper end of the upper range of what their deck can do is like, it's pretty good, but it's not like outlandishly good when the upper end of your modern deck needs to be like busted. And I think that the bottom end of his deck is just terrible. Like, the car, like, like, in game one, they just didn't do anything, you know? But they draw the exact right amount of ephemerates and griefs and so on and so forth and actual threats because they need, like, they need the Stoneforge for Caldera to actually clock their opponent because what they're doing doesn't matter if they don't clock their opponent. And they need the ephemerate to come with the grief. And they also need it to matter. So I've, I've, I put it like, plenty of times where, like, they get the grief off on turn one and just lose because, like, they didn't have a clock in any way, you know? So they really need, like, everything to fall in their favor. I think it's, like, pretty bad. It's obviously falling in their favor and we're losing, but. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, like. No, I think our mulligans are fine. I think that the mistake this game was uh, not bottoming the, uh, or bot not bottoming the Thrag Dust. Keeping the Thrag Dust was, was definitely wrong. Um, that, was, that was a big mistake, I think. Um, to more stuff, too. Vindicate. All right, whatever. Sure. <laughs> like, all right. So we're at five. Yeah, I mean, we're just pretty dead here because we can't. We can't be the call there. I don't, I don't know what, what, what we can actually draw here. I guess we could like draw Tron, play Gigantha, and then draw something else. But yeah, I mean, they got us. What are you gonna do? But Vindicate certainly helps the matchup a lot too. They might even actually have like a fine matchup against us, just because they have four Vindicates in their deck as well. But I think the deck, in, on average, the deck just isn't that good. Hitman resub, thanks so much. Eternal Raging Goblin with a new sub as well. Eternal Raging Goblin, welcome. I want you to Discord. You're a pile driver now. I appreciate it. All right, so it looks like we're not going to go uh, 
A donation bonus leagues? Uh, yes and no. I do, but they're closed. I do a show called Yurdic Live. Uh, don't everyone's gonna now yell at me now because everyone's everyone's really mad that I haven't like started it up again yet. But um, do a show called Yurdic Live. Info's on my, on my website, jimdavismtg.com. Um, and uh, it'll come back at some point soon. Hashtag soon. You know. Uh, all right, that that kills our outs too. So what are you gonna do? Whatever. Um, but yeah, so eventually, yes, I will, but things got to like get a little more settled in for me to do that. So spatial contortion. All right. So they got us. I mean, what are you going to do? Like, you know, I think that, uh, we definitely screwed up by bottoming the, uh, the Thrag Tusk. That was just our mistake. And then they just had like the top end of their hand two games in a row. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, we are going to pay out, I guess. So next match coming up. Ah, shit. I f God, I fucked up. God damn it. I'm I'm sorry, YouTube. I, we just browned Affinity. I am, I'm still, I'm still getting the hang of the, uh, the pausing thing. I know I've screwed up more times than I, I it's, I've, it's now inexcusable. The first few times is whatever. This time's actually inexcusable. Uh, we played against Affinity. We, we activated O-Stone and killed all our permanents and we won. Game one, game one was actually pretty interesting too, but I'm sorry, YouTube. You missed it. You missed the match. It sucks. Sorry. I'll have you know, YouTube, that I spent the uh, the minute we were, we were waiting for a match there just berating myself. Just just really digging in how stupid I am for screwing it up again. So let's go. Finish the last match here. All right. Some stuff you got to see on Twitch. Not everything's for YouTube, I guess. Let's go. 3-1. and one. Our opponent's 3-0. Oh. Couldn't get the trophy. But opponent's playing Lurus. All right. So we have Power Plant. Hands great. Keep this. It's our, it's our first seven this entire league. And this is good, too, because like we have turn three Tron. We also have this Blast Zone, which is probably going to be going to be good against them. So, playing ball against a six all day, all day. Great stream tonight. A lot of subs, good viewership. Doom Wake with a nice kind read. Appreciate that Doom Wake. Doom. It's nice going in my my non usual time slot occasionally. Blue Delta sure. Blood Crypt, sure. Monkey? Monkey. Attention, we have a monkey here, folks. Opponent is not monkeying around. No? Didn't like that one? Okay. Okay. I understand. I mean, I think we're pretty rolled up here. Monkey is obviously good against us as far as making mana. We don't really kill it that well. But the stealing part, the stealing cards part like, doesn't really matter. Because, like, yeah, nice O-Stone. You know, like, have fun with that. Anything I see, I want to see return and return to Innistrad. Nothing offhand. I'm not really sure. Bobble, sure. Look at these freaking two. Did Watsi realize how good these cards were? Like, this trio of red one mana spells is just like completely upended the format, you know? Snapcaster was from Innistrad. All right, so we're going to get uh, Urza's Mine. And they have they have, they have a Counterspell mana up. If they're playing Counterspells, we're going to Bobble us, sure. Eugene, the Spirit Dragon. I think we're just going to uh, to start with O-Stone and then move on to Relic and then Star and stuff. So start with O-Stone. See if it resolves or not. I guess you could have Kid of Man in their deck too, right? But... Uh, Play star. Play relic. Just say go. No real rush here. They gotta drown my relic. <laughs> Whole righty then, I guess. Sure. Uh, they will surveil one here, and. Uh, we could pop the star. Try and draw like a one mana card. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop star, sure. Could draw a relic, a star, sphere, saves the mana for a future turn. Starring, sure. Starring's for Karn, 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 or another relic. Uh, we can't actually activate relic this turn, 
So we could cast it in theory. Sanctum's also not bad. I agree. We're not at Ulmog mana yet, though. We have like we have like Ostone to pop too. It might actually be Relic, honestly. Um, because obviously Relic hurts their drowns too. I think it's Relic. However, like, see way that sounds. The Relics they go. Sanctum. I think Sanctum is not correct. I think like just take the threat or take the Relic. Taking Sanctum, like, we play Ugin and get Sanctum, and then what? Like, say, say we take Sanctum, and then Thought sees us. We, we, we lose Ugin. Like, now what? You know, now we got nothing. So, I think it's Karn or Relic. I think that with the uh, the Blast Zone available and the Ostone available, we're not going to die for a while. So, to get the Relic, nix their graveyard, you know, um, keep Luris at bay, keep Channeler at bay, and just blow up their stuff and be fine here. Also destroys a card too, so you keep cycling. They have four cards in hand, blah blah blah. Past midnight. God, I'm so old. Past my bedtime. And the good news is that John John has camp. It's gonna be eight for John's camp, but it's gonna rain tomorrow probably. So I'm not good news for John, I guess, but eh, it's only fifty percent. Might cancel camp tomorrow. I have so much to do tomorrow too. I gotta write an article, record two videos, do my historic set review. Sean making a comeback? We never left, my friend. <laughs> tron, 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 tron. Delta, sure. Started from the top, we still here. I have four cards in hand, crack Delta, sure. Thoughtsies? Inquisition of Kozilek. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? <sighs> Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Alright, so... Now what do we want to do? I doubt this deck is playing Force Negation. Um, do you feel a little more inclined to... O stone or blast zone before um before playing Ugin. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, just gonna stack the trigger for our like Ozone or O Stone. So we're gonna uh I think we're gonna they've seen the blast zone now too. We could just play tower, I think. We're gonna tower. Put Giganth in our hand. Say go. In their combat step, we're going to sack of the relic in response O stone. This is a, a play that Nicole screwed up in a uh, top eight of an IQ, and uh, it's it, it hurt to watch because like she had the right idea and just stacked it wrong. Um, she's playing against Dredge, and she wanted to. So you need to. Uh, well, I'll wrong, wrong them first, but so we want to crack the relic in response. Pop the O stone. O stone kills everything, and then relic relic gets rid of everything. I'm always somewhere chill in my night streams. Less for less, my pressure. Top four, sorry, top four of the IQ. Nicole's in chat, letting me know it's uh, top four, not, not top eight. So we're going to hold control. We're going to crack this. And then with the ability of a stack, we're going to pop the O stone. Um, this way everything dies, and then it all gets go, it all goes away. All goes bye bye. I make a red, I'm going to bolt me, sure. Surveil, also in response to the, uh, the O stone and the relic, which is great. So they're basically out here just like draw four bolts and kill me, I guess. Should have won that IQ. Yeah, I mean, you were definitely going to win that game. That was game three too, right? Don't you miss magic tournaments? Just the, the never-ending guilt <laughs> of like making a bad play and having it stick with you for literally ever. Don't you miss that? Don't you miss that? Just beating yourself up the entire ride home. And go. Uh, okay. I mean, the card counterspell is certainly in play here. 
Uh, we can scrying for Sanctum next turn. So, start here. I've cashed again that every single match this this league, just in case you were wondering. Just in case you were wondering. Might be game two. Speaking of uh, of not letting it get away, John and I have been playing chess, and John's learning. Obviously, he's he's ten. He's he's you know doesn't really have a major grip on the game or anything yet. And uh, we played a game today, and I threw away my queen on like turn five. He's never he's never beaten me. He's never come close to beating me. So like literally just like on turn it was like the fifth turn of the game, and uh, I just like blundered my queen away. I just like, made a, made his dumb mistake, and I was like, oh my god, this is not gonna be the game where I lose to John. So I just like buckled down and like played really hard and won and he was like at the end of the game he was just like i got your queen on turn five and i didn't win oh my god and it's like he knew he was like so far ahead the bots can't but i've heard that one i've heard that one um all right so we won great game two uh i don't really know what's on their board exactly um thrag tusk is insane veil of summer is probably pretty good too I would say that, honestly, I'm not super interested in Ugin because they probably have force. I don't know force negation, honestly. Botez, how do you, how do you say it? How do you say it? All right, I don't say things right. Y'all know me at this point. All right, y'all know me. Same old G or whatever. I don't, I don't know how to say things right. Um, I guess it's a gut shot matchup. Um. I don't even want Veil of Summer. Like, what counter spells do they have? I'm just, like, not familiar with these D decks. I definitely don't want Thought Seer. Thought Not Seer is not good at all. This card is only for like, for, like, combo matchups, realistically. Um, do I even want Veil? Strongest color in D&D &D draft. It's red. It's not even close, I don't think. Um, like, Relic is, like... It's pretty good. It's pretty hard to cut Relic here. You can shave an O-Stone. You can shave the Ugins, I think. Um, this is still 62. The thing about O-Stone is, it's not like particularly great against them, but the, the power of O-Stone is, you can double spell with it. On turn like 5 or 6, if you have 10 mana, you can cast O-Stone, force them to counter it, and then resolve your 6 drop, which is pretty good. Um, I even want these gut shots. I don't know if I do, honestly. I don't mind cutting Karn either, honestly. There's only more on my creature threats. I honestly don't know what to do here. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not going to O-Stone on a Karn. I don't know if they have Force Negation or not. I could have left their list up or whatever, but whatever. I'll just beat them. Just gonna beat them. I think so far we played it. We played against basically every new deck in the format. Like this has been like new modern this league, and we've been doing very very well, obviously. So, Ugh. gross, gross. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe at some point. I feel like we're just like. I mean, me and John watched like a video or two. I had him watch like you know because like we played a game or two and he lost. And he lost. And he, like he gets mad when he loses and he's like still learning how to handle that. And I'm like, listen, man, you try to like work on it you can like instead of watching a mark over video for the hundredth time you should just like watch a chess video you know like learn learn your spare time kind of thing so you watch a video or two it's pretty good but you got a mulligan oh my god oh this hand's really bad um point of mulligan to six i really don't want to play a forest they are like a discard deck some counters too though so like we do want to like i guess they're pretty aggressive too i'm gonna mulligan this sure we have, there's a five card hand this hand is like this hand's pretty bad too mm. we're, on the, we're on the draw i'm gonna keep You've got shot for Ragavan. I, I, I kind of want to do that pretty bad. So, we should draw a Tron Land, a Star, a Sphere, a Map, a Green Source. There's a lot of draws here to good. So, yeah. So, 
I, after the game, he got upset that he lost, and I was like, John, what did my face look like? The turn before you took my queen and the turn after you took my queen. And he was like, it was exactly the same. It was like, exactly the same. You know, you make a mistake. So I'm trying to teach him that, like, it's bad to rage after a game, which is bad anyway, but it's even worse when you do it... <laughs> when you, when, it's even worse when you do it, like, during the games. You lose concentration. You can't play good anymore. You can't play, can't play good. You can't play good anymore. You can't play well anymore, you know? And uh, I'm trying to, like, you know, explain that to him. Like, it's not just about, like, not raging afterwards it's like you want to win you need to like compose yourself and like keep your cool so it's not working yet but i'm trying I'm trying my best here we go sylvan's crying sure so we have tron i don't know what they ha can have to stop tron they have like some sort of ld effect or something or other i don't really know but right like like i buckled down like, you know, most games I'm playing against them, I kind of like, you know, I'm playing, you know, I'll try, I'll try things here and there. I'm, I'm still learning chess too. I don't really know it that well. And like, but when, when I lost that queen, I went into 110%. I am not losing this game. hundred in No way till Sunday am I, am I losing this game. You know, no way. Not a, not a chance in hell. We dashing? Dashing through the, no, iteration, sure. This seems like a great matchup for us. Like, they're just like a aside from Ragavan, like pretty slow deck. Oh, I I screwed up. I just forgot. I just I was just telling stories. I forgot Gigantha. My bad. We have plenty of mana, so it doesn't really matter. And obviously, and obviously we have better green things to do also. So, but yeah, I should have gotten that. I screwed up. Delta, sure. They have five cards in hand, sure. Power plant, sure. Mm. I mean, you're up. We'll eventually draw green. They're clearly not blood mooning, so they're gonna instead bolt us. That feels pretty thin. Um, so like by bolting us, that's like a, a possible trigger off of a a dragon rage channeler. That's like information for us knowing that there's a, a you know we're at lower life than we think we are. Alpine moon, yeah right. Seal of removal. Okay. Okay. They're not putting Loris in their hand. Sure. Expedition map. Are they gonna counter this? Probably. They're probably gonna drown this, I think. Thought out Seer just like isn't good though. Like it, it it's alright. It dies to a lot of stuff. Oh, let us do it too. Um Alright, so we're gonna uh map ski here. Like it just kinda like like what what do you want it over? It's not as good as anything else. We, we already were struggling to like board out cards. We got a forest. Play forest. Cast Sylvan Scrying. And I'm probably getting another forest, honestly. Double spelling is very important, so. The end step. Are they going to cold against command me? Sure. So K command, get back their monkey, which is fine. Want to jam this turn? Set up for next turn. Because if I, if I jam this turn, I'll jam one spell this turn, and then it's one spell next turn. If I have two spells next turn, one of them will likely resolve. So. They got a monkey. They hit a worm coil. Not quite. Not quite. Right. And now they're kind of like, the problem is by, by committing to dashing, now they have to like lock up two mana every turn. So... Right, obviously, Gigant is very soft to a seal effect. I'm probably just going to Stirrings here. I don't think Gigant has as, as much actual value against a seal. I don't want to resolve Thrag Dust too, so let's try fire up Stirrings and see what they do. They might counter this. They do not. Okay. Now we have Relic, O-Stone, Karn, Chromatic Star. Um, O-Stone's pretty good here. It facilitates the, uh, the double spell we're talking about. Um, yeah. Relic is fairly relevant here, so. Tron can play Yevamaya. The problem is that Yevamaya is much worse than a forest in the deck because you need your forest against Blood Moon, against Field of Ruin, against so on and so forth, and having it not... It's not going to matter much that your, all your lands are forests 
but it's going to matter a lot of time when you draw against Blood Moon and things like that. So I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Play Ostone. Resolves. All right, now we're going to play Gigantha. One downside is by Stirring Zing, we put the fifth card in our graveyard for Drown. Uh, but I think we're still fine here. So Etron plays Urborg to dodge the new hate card. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Hello, opponent. Boomertron is always good. Tron is never not good. I just love this deck. Add a white. Ooh, another K command. That's pretty gross. That's pretty gross. Eh. Sure. They'd rather deal two to me. Maybe discard, maybe discard a card. Wow. That's pretty wild. All right, so double K command, which is fine. Obviously messes up the Ostone a bit, but not that, not that, not that bad, bad of a thing here. We now have Gigantha and Thrag Dusk as well. And there's aren't even like good cards to counter, so they gotta spend two to dash the Ragavan. That's the thing they're interested in. A little heart for companions. Lures to hand, cast Ragavan. Wow. It's gonna give us free reign this turn. Alright, if you say so. There you go, buddy. It's all yours. It's all yours. So we have two pretty good threats on the board. They have Lurus now, which is kind of annoying, obviously, but we're just drawing to like the meat of our deck. Uh, Relic is great. Honestly, even like a, a, a land search effect for Blast Zone is fine too, so. This version is still side sideboard Emrakul. No, Emrakul has, has, has been played in this deck since uh, since uh, I have Ugin was banned. You can play like a Kozilek if you're like concerned with the mill matchup, and like it's also fine against control decks, I guess. But they play Lurus, sure. I mean, they can't play Seal of, Seal of Removal here, I suppose. But Thragdusk is still pretty good, and Pyrite Spellbomb. Okay. So now it's time to. Knock on the old top of the deck. All right. Oh, oh it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Oh, the mill matchup is bad. It is not good. It is definitely bad. All right, so we're going to attack first. We'll try and see if we can draw out the seal removal. Hey, 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 hey. What do I have this league to end? What a perfect end of this league. It's fun to at Tron's not, not, not the bad guy anymore, you know? Because obviously they can, they can save... Wow, they should take all of it. They can save their own lures with the, with the seal of removal, which is kind of a concern. Um, but of course, they just like probably can't beat the old log either, so... <laughs> we'll target these two. It's whatever. They can't beat everything, so... Hammer time does seem a little tough. I mean, once you board, like, your, your Nature's Claims and crap, it's probably, like, okay, but... I guess Gut Shot's not bad there either, right? Oh, but they're so sad. Yeah, like... Ulamala's gonna beat you either way. Oh, yeah. Game. Blouses. So, 4 and 1, with our only loss being the, like, the Grief Ephemerate deck, which I don't think is very good. Um, so, we'll take that. And that was all new decks he played against... Uh, Cascading Rhinos. We played against uh, Blue Red Murktide like Delver. We played against Grixis Control. We played against um, this Affinity deck we're seeing right here. And we played against. Uh, I forgot the last one. Uh, but yeah, that felt great. Honestly, most of my matches felt pretty good. So, Tron's the best. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Look for this deck in a future Cool Stuff video. It'll be on Monday, on Monday the, uh, the 9th. This is like I'm playing in the cool stuff video. Thanks, uh, YouTube. Appreciate it. And again, sorry about that mismatch.